book is called Shashugi Bon. You know, most times when you use Shashugi Bon, you use a two by four or a bigger wood piece, but this is balsa wood. So it'll burn a lot faster, a lot easier, and it's probably not going to do quite what the shishugi bond would do. But we're going to we're going to torch this wood anyway, and I will go from there. <laughs> our wood burn on our wood plates and these you can it's time to stain these and I've already said this but apparently I was in time lapse when I said it um, these markers here are furniture scratch markers it's called the tool bench I got these from Dollar Tree and there's actually four of them and I don't know where my other two are so this is the two I have they come out very beautifully actually it's just a marker but they, they beautiful stain on wood. Um, you can also use some distressed inks of your color of choice. It doesn't have to be the antique or vintage photo or antique linen. You could probably use any color you wanted. And finally, I am also have this. Um, I say finally, but there's one other one. This color wash tint. It's a one-step water-based ba base tint. This one's in copper, and this one's in weathered copper, and they also have uh, gold, um, probably mica powders in it. Uh, I don't know how well it'll show up on the wood, uh, so we're going to ex probably experiment with those. And there are, uh, I do have two other uh, pickling washes. Um, they're basically a paint that's a light seal. This one's called Coral Beauty, and this one is uh, Soleil, and um, they're a transparent veil of color, and they're, this one's kind of a wood grain. You can see if you put it on wood, that's how it would look. Let me zoom in on that there. That way you can see that. So, um, I'm probably going to use the Tattered Angels, or maybe one of these. We're going to experiment. So, um choose your wash and I'm gonna choose mine here we go I don't know, I don't know. Maybe decoupage on another one or paint. I don't know which way I'm going to go with this, but uh, we're going to see where it goes. So, here we go. <laughs>
Oh my goodness, this turned from a wood plank journal to a box fold-up journal book with, oh, oh my gosh, it's definitely mixed media. It's got a little bit of everything. Okay, so first I did the uh, Shishiki, I can't even talk now, Shishiki Bon uh, technique, which is where you burn the wood and add and stain it, which I stained, and then I painted it uh, in some parts black, and then I put crackle finish, and then I did a cashew color over it, let the cracks come through. And then I did a decoupage napkin behind that, and I stamped, well, I stamped before and after the decoupage. Then I actually decoupaged true uh, dried flowers and uh, some stamping, and I also got some pyography in here. That's wood, that's a wood burning tool. That's what you saw me doing with this stuff here is wood burning. And then more stamps, and then I added a, uh, a door. And I thought it was cute. I put the little uh, art palette there. And on the side, there's a little wonky journal box, but on the side, uh, I like it. I've got a little doorknob here. This will open up. I'll show you. It's got a little bee and a little uh, honeycomb right here. And then I just put some colorful beads since I left this pretty blank. I left some, I put some colorful beads here. And on the edges where my little nails stuck out, I cut the nails, I sanded them, or screws rather. And then I used these push pins that you use in furniture or whatever. And uh, I cut the nail off of those and stuck them in and then glued them in. Uh, I left this side of more raw wood. I did not polyurethane this. The only thing that's polyurethane is the front and the back. This is the back. Again, more stamping, more dried flowers, more pyography, crackle, and gold leafing as well. And my initials are hidden in here as my trademark. And then Archdraordinary. Uh, Archdraordinary Journal. Archdraordinary is a name that I kind of come up with. Uh, and so I also use these push, uh, push pins here. And at first I started thinking, oh, let me just show you the charms I have on here. Um, of course, this is a little classic cameo and a leaf and a little druzy uh, bead. And then I have a number two with a little flower on it. The number two is for the fact that this is the second wood plaque uh, project that I've made. I, it might actually be the third, but I forgot about it uh, until I made this one. So it's technically number three, but it was already stamped number two. And this little uh, metal uh, belt thing, I guess, is scarf holder. And the top. The top I decided to go with B-theme, you know, mixed in with the butterfly and the wildflowers. Just nature's. This has got the shishugi bun, burn and stain, gold leaf. I did a little uh, honeycomb here um, and some honey. And this is a beautiful uh, ornate bee that I chose to go ahead and stick on here. And then a little uh, metal plate said loving life. And it's got a little pearl on it. I hand painted a flower on this wood bead. This is a wooden bead and I painted flowers on it. And then I stuck a key in, in the center of it and then a little chain to, to I was going to have it dangle, but I said, no, no more dangle. So I went ahead and glued the, the bee down. But that's okay. It keeps this from getting wonky. And let's just open this. Oh, art journal up. I'm so excited. Um, let me go ahead and lock that. Now, this lock isn't very tight, so it, it's a way to just hold it down, but uh, I may have to tighten that up. But I had this thing on a little more so that it would do that and help keep the box closed. But a little wonky, but cute. Then I have this clasp here, and I'm going to show you why. Hope you're, I hope I'm in frame good enough. Um, I have this bead dangle that I made on this elastic cord, and this elastic cord comes around from behind here, back down, and um ravels. I know it's a lot, but it's a lot of fun because you want to keep your little wonky box together. So this actually, <laughs> my original idea was to have a collapsible journal, which I'll probably do a straight collapsible journal another time, but I decided to put flaps on here. Let me show you why. Let me stand this back up. Number one, once I was doing the collapsible, I thought, you know, how cute would it be to actually have your pencil and your eraser on standby and um, any other little, you put a little sharpener in there. And I went ahead and tied that all up and there's two uh, hand-painted flower beads uh, in there as well, just for color. More shishugi bond with the copper uh, mica and gold mica. And I've got these little jump rings to hinge this flap so that it can go down. And then this little door actually opens. I left the, the palette blank on the inside in case I'm probably going to sell this. So the person that buys it can uh, personalize it or leave it blank as well. There's three signatures with different types of craft and art paper. And I left it spacious enough where you could add as much as you want to get this thick. And if you wanted to do more, just drill more holes in here and put more straps in if you want to. But I left them rather spacious so that it can be fat with the book. And then this flap flips backwards like that, giving it an easel style. So anyways, it was, um, I got interrupted. It, it's, it's like a, um, an easel. So if you want it to draw or paint or watercolor, I've got three signatures here and it's got like five or seven different types of paper. I can't remember what I did, but there's marker paper, sketch paper, uh, pen and ink and pencil and black uh, paper for, uh, glow in the darks or or uh, paints or whatever poskas and uh, watercolor 140 pound and drawing paper so those different papers are inside and you can take them out i did i went ahead instead of making it uh to where you could um 
uh, leave it have to leave it in there. I made it to where you could pull the paper out and put it back in uh, when you were done doing your art. So you just take one out when you're done doing your art, put it back in, and that's one signature, and they're all the same. Um, I didn't want to put too much because I want people to be able to put their own artwork in here and build up this journal. Um, so there it is. I love it. I left it blank so that you could do your own, and I might keep this one. I don't know, but uh, it may be in my Etsy shop, so uh, do look for it because it might just be there, and it's a hinged project, so you can see the hinges, the door closes. I, my original idea was to do a, a full collapse, so I may make another journal where you can collapse it like that without any of the flaps holding the pencils or whatnot. So um, this is also collapsible to a point, so you can collapse it and display it like this too. So it's, it's actually pretty fun. I think it's pretty cute. It's a, an idea I just came up with on the fly as I started making it. Uh, I have done this particular style before with my paper press, and I never I started a video on live and I never finished it because it just was taking too long. The only thing I have left to do for my paper press is to do either a polyurethane or a, a resin topping, and then I'm going to drill four holes, and then I'll have some uh, butterfly uh, screw down so that it can press the, the, the flowers. It's a flower press. I call it it's a paper or flower press, a paper and flower press. And I did the exact same type of uh, artwork here as I did here. Um, this one's a little more stated because it's a little bigger, and these were my personal wildflowers from my yard, other than these pink ones. So uh, I just wanted to show this particular part of the project, and we'll close this up. And thank you again for following this haul. Thank you, Archana, and uh, I hope that you like my project. I think it's super cute. I enjoyed making it. Oh, we also got a, a little dangle here at the bottom, and this closes right up. Okay, so it's a little bit of work, but it's fun. It's fun. And this comes from the back. You want to make sure you get that out from under the hinge. Pull it up. Wrap it around. Bring it over around the top, under the chain, down the side and then wrap it again, and you have your dangle to close it. And that closes the top and the bottom. And then you've got your chain hook to close the front door. So shut the front door. This was a cute and fun project. I really enjoyed making it, and I truly hope that you enjoyed the process. Of course, I know I didn't show the recording on making the full spectrum of this, but you got the gist of what the uh, mixed media part of the project was. So uh, this was my project. So thank you for following the hop. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share, and also go check out the other artists in the hop with the description box below. All their links will be there. Also in the comments, I will leave the list, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye.